Okay, so I have tried to take on the task of taking the top 100 competitive Pokemon from almost any spectrum of the game. Whether you're playing Smogon battles, whether you're playing VGC doubles, whether these Pokemon were really useful from Generation 4, Generation 5, maybe not as useful now. I'm trying to figure out, like, just the best Pokemon that have seen their heyday, that are really kicking right now, and just trying to make a list of the top 100 Pokemon. As most lists of top 100, this is my opinion, so try not to hate on it too much, <laughs> even though there, there will probably be some discrepancies between everyone's list. And also, as we start getting closer to the top one, like the top 10, 20, 30 Pokemon, it starts to sort down to Pokemon that have a better chance of doing like a 6-0 sweep, or that have a really high multiple KO potential. Awesome. Well, I love to hate, so that's my favorite thing. So you love to hate. <laughs> so too bad for this. But anyway, too I bad. know you guys can see uh, Bidoof right here, uh, number 100, but we've already covered that today. We're going to go over numbers 80 through 71. So without further ado, number 80 on deck, who is it going to be? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my boy. That's my boy right there. Xplot has been getting some serious play lately because of Boom Burst. 150, mm -hmm. or it's like 140 normal attack move. In double battles, it hits everything, so if you have a ghost-type Pokemon next to it, it's going to hit the other two opponent's Pokemon, and it also just has huge stab boost, so it's going to do tons of damage. Then you could use a Choice Scarf on it, put it in a Trick Room, maybe super slow him down, and he gets around 315 special attack, I believe. Holy so crap. You, can, you can get... A hyper beam every turn with no drawbacks, pretty much. Tons yeah. of damage. That's really strong. Sounds awesome. Number 80 right there. Explode. All right, Verlis. So now we're breaking into the 70s. Number 79. Boom. Oh, boy. Clawitzer, huh? I put Clawitzer really high up on the list because he's mostly going to be a double battles Pokemon only. You can see him in singles, but his... Best use, I feel, is using Heal Pulse for 75% heal. If you have a really bulky, sweepery kind of Pokemon, you can just put that, charge him up, give a lot of damage, or give him a lot of health. He also turns around a lot of damage with a Dragon Pulse or Dark Pulse. That can do a, ton a lot, so he's a good Pokemon in my opinion, and he at least makes it on the list. Awesome, yeah, I, I, Dragon Pulse on him is pretty brutal. All right, so number 78 coming up. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Yeah, we, we did a guide on Skarmory, and he's one of those Pokemon that used to be just the ultimate special defense wall. Yeah, there we go. Let's pull that back up. <laughs> he, he used to be the ultimate, or he's the physical wall, I mean. He's the ultimate physical wall. Skarmbliss combo is legendary, and he also has a really good setup. He can get Spikes, Stealth Rock, Roost, Be Annoyance, and then Roar. So the idea is you set up entry hazards and you keep roaring them out, doing a lot of damage. Yeah, pretty pretty good uh, Pokemon. Surprised he's uh, so high. He must have some pretty pretty dirty he's, Pokemon coming up here. Well, also he's complete taunt bait, and with a lot of fire types right now, that Charizard, mm. that Talonflame can still knock him out. Very very true. All right, seventy seven on tap. I don't know what it's gonna be. Here we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, nice Absol. A lot of yeah. people love the Absol. A lot of people love Absol, but. I feel that, like, for number 77, it's both Absol and Mega Absol at the same time. <laughs> yes, true. Because when you're dealing with Mega Absol, he almost gets better as a special sweeper that can use Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower. Mm -hmm. He gets all three of those, which is insane. However, normal Absol is really strong right now because super luck ability, he, gets almost, he can get 100% critical hit chance. Yeah, the a a Super Luck with uh, Psycho Cut, Night Slash, he has like all critting moves, and then if you give him a crit item, you know, you have incredible chance to crit. So you like this either way then, uh, Mega or Standard uh, can be a pretty powerful Pokemon, number in yeah. the 70s in the top one, or 77, exactly, there you go, now you know, there's Absol, and again, this is like overall, guys, like Verlis said, this is just uh, his opinion, it's out of every single Pokemon, so there's a, there's a lot to it, and it can be in any... Thing in VGC or in um, in VGC in Smogon, it's whatever. It's not. There's no rules here. It's just what you can possibly do. So yeah. uh, again, Absol, let's check out number 76. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Oh, nice, 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 I, nice. I also put Mega Bayonet up here. I put him above Absol just because he is an entirely priority Pokemon. He has Prankster ability, which means he gets Prankster Destiny Bond. 
That's the scariest thing imaginable. <laughs> That's pretty That's brutal. a one for one. He also has Prankster Will-O-Wisp. On top of that, he gets Sucker Punch and Shadow Sneak. While also sporting, I believe, a 430-something max attack with some good hit points. So he becomes durable enough to be a 2-3 hit KO. So that way, first turn, you set up the Sucker Punch, a big Shadow Sneak. Then you can decide whether you can go for the KO or just Destiny Bomb them out. He's nice. very reliable for that. Yeah, uh, Destiny Bond's scary, man. It is a scary move there. All right, so that's uh, Binette. Let's uh, go on down the list. We're almost uh, about to break into those 60s, but 75 coming up. Here it is. Yeah, not quite yet, but soon. And 75. Oh, hey, we just uh, yeah. built this guy today. I, I would have loved to put Metagross higher on, or lower on the list, you know, top 30s, top 40s. But then he just kept moving up and up and up on the list as I was putting in new Pokemon, all the current stronger Pokemon. And again, the changes to Steel, making Ghost types and Dark types now hit normal effective on Steel. He has four weaknesses that are very common that Mega Charizard Y is going to just sweep him out really hard. There's a lot of Garchomp threat, Mega threats. He, he went from being a really hard one-hit KO, and now he's a really common one-hit KO, depending. So... Mm -hmm. He kind of lost some, but he is still a really strong Pokemon if you can set him up right. Cool, cool. I, I like Metagross, too, because this is the way he looks. So you might as well just run him anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well just, just run him. Who cares if he's number 75? All right. What is next? Number 74. Oh, S or not. Sorry, it's Umbreon. Espeon. Umbreon. Yes. <laughs> we, sorry, we Umbreon. We talked about Umbreon as well. Yes. And this Pokemon is a Pokemon that can get really tanky and has just a wide move pool of annoyance. You can mm -hmm. use Moonlight. Curse, so it becomes a really incredible physical wall. And then you also just get to play around with a lot of other things that it has options with. So it's a really sustainy Pokemon that can just get its job done, works really well in Trick Room, has a good taunt. It, it can just play around with a lot of, lot of shenanigans. Cool, cool, yeah, and uh, everyone loves the evolution, so mm -hmm. always nice to see him on the list. All right, 73, we're almost uh, done with these 10. Here we go, 73 on tap. Oh, yeah, that Chansey Doe. This also kind of counts for Chansey and Blissey. Okay. It, with Eviolite, though, Chansey has become a much more popular option because mm -hmm. it gets higher defenses for defense and special defense and about the same hit points. So the only thing is you're losing out on uh, leftovers, but with, when you calculate the defenses, it's generally going to be that it gets tankier as a Chansey with Eviolite than a Blissey with leftovers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have been using it for double team, or I think it gets minimized, actually, so it, what it, it just minimizes, and then it uses Seismic Toss, and then game's over because Soft Boiled brings back half of its health if yeah. you hit it. That's so nasty. Yeah, you can so, Poison Stall with her, too. And then uh, I actually had a Flamethrower on her, which uh, saved me a couple times against a Scissor, but lots of ways to run her. I did Charge Beam and Ice Beam. Nice. Yeah, she's, pr she's pretty awesome. I, yeah. I do like uh, Chansey and Blissey. They're both pretty good. All right, so that's 73. 72 on tap. Who's it going to be? Oh, nice, Zapdos. Yeah, Zapdos is, get, gets a lot of play because VGC Legal right here, that's a pseudo-legendary that has Discharge for a huge amount of attack mm -hmm. and a good special attack. or I mean, a huge amount of special attack and a good speed. So it's going to be a Stab Discharge for double battles. And in single battles, it doesn't have as much use, but it can still be really fast, really strong. A good pairing is to put this next to a Garchomp, use Earthquake Discharge, you're going to be getting two stab boosted moves on both of the enemies. Zapdos also has Heat Wave and a Heart Gold Soul Silver. So when Pokebank becomes a thing, it's going it has Heat Wave, which yeah. is a great move. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be so dirty. Fire, so two hitting fire and electric move. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty strong. Uh so seventy two though, still uh kinda still high on the list for a pretty strong Pokemon. I wonder what we are going to see as it keeps going. And seventy one, who is it? Just before the, in the 60s, dun, 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 dun. there we go. And I put Mega Manetric here. Yeah, Manetric. Because a lot of people would have been mad if I left him out of the list. And I don't feel he can be lower because with most Megas, all, a lot of the other Megas just get outclassed by the other Megas. Mega, mm -hmm. if you're not a Mega Pinsir, if you're not going to be a Mega Kangas, if you're not a Mega Mawile, you know, it, you don't really have too many other options. However... Mega Manetric gets huge speed, monstrous special attack, and then has Flamethrower, so it has its own coverage move inside of it. Then you can have Discharge, Thunderbolt, 
and just a good coverage pool from there. Yeah, um, and doesn't it intimidate as well once it goes uh, mega? I think I can't remember. I believe so. Yeah, it's it uh, so. it's, it's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, it, uh, it frustrates me a lot. But uh, anyway, that is uh, that is the block of seventies. Uh, Burles will be doing uh, the sixties uh, really soon here. So I guess guys, come back and uh, look for more. If you're watching this on YouTube, get ready okay. for the the sixties for that top one hundred countdown. And Verlus, any final thoughts on this uh, block or anything, or on your overall one hundred? If you want to say anything. This block tended to be like those mega Pokemon that are still trying to find their way in. They're still useful. Just because they're 70 on the list doesn't mean that they're not useful, not strong at all. This is out of the top 100 Pokemon, so they are still pretty good for just being on the list. As well as some of the off tanks like Blissey, Metagross, Umbreon. We're starting to get into the serious Pokemon, though. Yeah, no, it really is. We're about to cross that 50 uh, threshold really soon here. So, again, guys, for those of you that maybe either are watching here live or on YouTube or anything, you can always hit both of us up on our YouTubes below. You can check out those links, youtube.com slash Verlicify, and you're probably watching that on here, or, or this on there. And uh, youtube.com slash the Justin Flynn is where you can find me for other Pokemon-related content.